welcome everybody to the Monday, July 18th, 2022 meeting of the Conway Select Board. Um, and uh, call the meeting to order. You may notice if you're watching it that it's just me and Veron in, uh, in the meeting room. Chris is joining us by Zoom, and everyone else will be joining us by Zoom as well since. Just recently, the state legislature gave us the authority to do this once again. So that was good. So first item on the agenda, vote to approve the minutes of July 5th. Chris, you got a chance to look at those? I did. All right. Everything okay? Everything looks good. I thought so too. So I'll move to approve the minutes of July 5th. Evening, Phil Cantor. <laughs> Everybody's been up today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. second that. <laughs> Chris right. Waldo will second that. Is that what you're saying? Yes. All, yes. Those, all those in favor say aye. 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 It is unanimous. So we have five minutes. So we have an accounts payable warrant. W22-29 for $196,746.26. We have an accounts payable W23-03 for $331,768.92. We have a payroll warrant 23-03 for $189,026.08. We have a payroll deduction warrant, 23-03, for $52,959.82. And then we have our quarterly, not quarterly, I think it is the uh, student activities warrant from Common Grammar School, which is a misnomer. So the W22-SAF-4 for $2,900. Seventy-one dollars and two cents. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna have look at ask for a uh, motion to approve these one, two, three, four, five warrants, and then um, if we have any questions about them, if we have to review them in full, get questions answered. So. I'll move to approve those warrants. I will second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings attended by select board members. Um. I have none to report. Public comments. Unfinished business, no new business. Um, so number one is on the list is the vote to approve of the hiring of Adam Reed to fill the very big shoes of Louise Beckett as the assistant, the new assistant to the town administrator, effective July the 18th, that would be today, 2022. So, Ronnie, do you wanna tell us about this appointment <laughs> and how we got to this point? Um, sure. And then, and then we'll hear from Adam and we'll, we'll get to ask Adam a few questions. Um, sure, well, first I just wanna say that I am, heartbroken that Louise is leaving us, but respect her decision. So we did post the position um, a couple of weekends in the reporter and um, when indeed, I'm sure I could put a question anywhere else, I didn't make it to the current. Um, we got a number of resumes, um, Louise contacted everybody, we got very few who actually filled out the application. So we need to tell them what we're doing here. Um, Adam Lansby, and 
Stacy will be a wonderful addition. So I would recommend him to become my new assistant. Adam, are you there? You are. Now's the time to show your face on camera. I don't. I'm not sure that we need to take a few days. You can dial in separately. No, she's never. She's never been able to show his face on there. Louise, can you guys hear us? She's not walk across the street. Um. All right. If you want to go on, I'll turn right. over. All right. So we'll <laughs> temporarily pause this item and move on to the next item in new business, which is the vote to authorize all boards and committees to allow remote participation for per the recent governor's or state legislature's uh, allowing that it's per 940 CMR 29.1. Um, so basically, this allows all the boards to continue just doing what we've been doing now, which is hybrid meetings. Uh, so, and then also, if things get really gnarly again, to go forward remotely. So, do you, you got any questions about that, Chris? Is that all right with you? <laughs> Obviously, it's needed. <laughs> if they hadn't done this on Friday, you you this would not be possible yeah exactly the legal permission lapsed yeah so i definitely vote in favor all right so um yeah i vote in favor too so i made a motion to authorize all boards and committees to allow remote participation oh great chris uh, seconded it without really realizing it because we kind of voted for it before we did yeah. <laughs> we've cured. We've cured. And, and a roll call. Okay, roll great. Call. It was unanimous. And okay. Solid. Okay. And we understood that that was different than what the state legislature just. It's like this would come into effect after this. After the extension. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, Vote to approve the addition of, quote, until age 70, end quote, on special legislation requested from annual town meeting articles 25 and 26. So you want to explain this, Veronica? <laughs> sure. Well, this is on the advice of town council. Um, the, so the wording of this in particular? Um, well, to add that in, to add in until age 70. The reason is because um, the special legislations that are being put forth before the legislators now, they are not accepting anything that goes past the age of 70. So I get that. I, I yeah. question why we needed to have a vote. Like the wording of it, the wording, the wording of it that says that refers to what we passed, we're adding new qualifications to something that we passed at town, town meeting already. It just sounds like kind of not quite kosher just on its face. Well, all I can say is this was the recommendation of town council. So. And, that we, and that we needed to have a vote. That's the only way to approve. So what I what I have to do is I'm requesting of um, Natalie Blaze office to help us put in the special legislation. Right. But um, if we're going to add this in, the select board has to vote on it before I can send in that request. And then I have to report you know, that it was so moved by the state board to add it. And if not, that the problem is that if we don't or does not do that, then we could end up in a situation where technically we're allowing people to work past 70, which isn't technically legal. So that's why she was suggesting. So. All right. Um, for going forward. 
this is a suggestion for going forward because this is how they're doing the but what we already have is grandfather this does not apply to oh, correct. Oh, correct. This no, does this not apply for these two to articles. anybody that existing that is in a position that this might be referring to no it's not referring to anybody except for who is an article 25 so specifically, this would not be to Chief Baker or Fire Department. Okay. <laughs> um, so with that understanding, uh, motion to approve the addition of quote until age 70, end quote, on the special legislation would be requested. You okay with that, Chris? Um yeah, I was confused about it as well, but yeah, I, I'm okay with it. I'll prove. So is that a second or was that a vote? That was a second. That was a second. All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. That is a all right. second. Uh, and all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Now we'll go back to our previously adjourned item, which is the vote to approve the hiring of Adam Reed to the staff position as assistant to the town administrator effective today, July the 18th, 2022. Sitting next to me now is Adam Reed. Uh, proposes to be the new assistant. Yes. So, um, and this is something you want to do, right, Adam? Oh, yeah. Well, I want to do it. Okay. You know, the commute is the world's shortest commute for sure. Like <laughs> you can't, you can you cannot beat the commute. Um, and uh, what else did we what else did we need to say hear from that? Um, I I don't personally. I mean, we had the interview and went over his skills and what the job requirements are, and I think they match nicely. And, in addition, the fact that Adam knows so much about the town already is a huge boon. Boon? You're a boon. <laughs> Barb was just telling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Barb was telling me. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, you know, enjoy the interview. It's like what it proves it for the Chris, do you know Adam? I don't. All right. You got any questions for Adam? I do not. Good. All right. I want to give you. I want to give Does you more of a hard time. Does Jeremy have any questions for me? <laughs> um, all right. So with that, I will um, as the uh, as the successful. Uh, as, as the person who emerged from our hiring process, number one on the list, I would uh, I would recommend uh, make a motion to approve the hiring of Adam Reed to the staff position of assistant to the town administrator effective July 18th. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. And Adam, you are hired. Thank you very Congrats, much. Congrats, Adam. I think. <laughs> you mean you think? <laughs> yes, thank you. So we'll have like a week or so of training with the weeds and I'll kind of keep things you know, Just a, one or two random residents come in during that period and just get really, really irate for no reason. Just really so that's fine. I'm good for that. Well, of course, the, the fun part is that I'm I was actually... a teacher for 17 years. Yeah. I don't think I've had irate people. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then as, as far as I know, the only evening uh, requirement would be that select the evening minutes. Or, so, and it's really not evening when it usually ends about 7 o'clock or whatever. Fair. Seven o'clock. Good. Especially January through June when all seats like long. Yeah. yeah. And then town meeting. You gotta come to town meeting. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. So um, you're welcome to hang out. Stay. Well, no, I kind of want to. All right. What? What she's doing. All right. Okay. You guys. All right. All right. Thanks. Thank sure. you very much. All right, so next on the list, the, six, the signing of three memorandum of understanding with the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District for quality inspection and household hazardous waste collection. We're on each. <laughs> okay, so these are annual contracts that we have with the district. Um, for those at home who don't know how this works, the Franklin County solid waste district manages a lot of what happens at our transfer station and they go out to bid for the contracts to provide for the hauling of a lot of the, most of our materials so you know annually we sign contract with them saying that yes we are actually in a contract with them because they've gone out and done the bidding and everything for us so the hauling would be for the scrap metal and for the bulky for the cardboard for the trash for the bottles and cans, things like that. Um, hazardous waste collection is um, the contract we have. We're, we're a super site, but we also um, do every September, the district authors um, hazardous waste collection for all residents. You sign up in advance, but they do it at the GCC, at least that's what it's been in the past. And it's, it's very quick and easy and very well organized. And then with the um, inspection, we need to be inspected annually and as well. And Jan has a real break on the cost of having our annual inspection. I can, I can say it's the services we get from, from them are, are well worth what we pay for. Sure. An initial thought about having Jan come in here for this night? No, no, August 29th is when she's able to come. The, the, the one thing that I saw that I didn't was the town having to pay a, a 1.5% late fee if we're more than 30 days late from the date of an invoice in the repayment. And, and I thought when we're meeting in the summer every other week, we should have the right to cancel a meeting without like incurring a financial penalty to like someone like the solid waste. Oh, you mean in case you didn't, you didn't sign the warrant? Yeah. Like, that's I could just, always talk to Jan about waiving that if like, we don't have a meeting. I mean, it's like 45 days is what that should be and not 30 days. Mm -hmm. so, seriously. So, um, which, if it's okay with her, that's what I would prefer to do is cross out 30 and just put 45 on it. Okay. They, I'll, would, I'll they wouldn't there. care, is my guess. <laughs> All of us might be on the case, but just there. Actually, a lot of it was actually with me. I saw the $175 inspection fee that includes everything from writing and submitting report to following up on that report to the mileage to the site visit. I thought that was actually felt like we're getting good value. Oh, just, you're getting way more than good value. When I used to have to do those for um, South Hadley, the, the cost could have been anywhere from 500 to 1,000. So. <laughs> so how do you want to handle this? Do you want me to ask her and then we'll do this at the next meeting? Because you don't want to sign it. If it's are, are we able to vote on the stipulation that the provision that he's asking for for the net term to be 45? Um, you can vote on that, but then you still wouldn't want to sign it until that's in the language. Right. Yeah. So, it's up to you. So, so, so I'll consider that a motion. I'll second his motion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All in favor of Chris's motion. Aye. Aye. <laughs> so these are approved with that. There's only one of them that had that language, I think. Probably 
up with the following, and that may well be because they need to do the turnaround. So they probably do. And I believe I have to abstain from the next line. No, you don't. Actually, you don't. No? <laughs> for yourself. You vote against yourself or for yourself. <laughs> um, and actually, if you don't vote for yourself, then we don't have a sufficient voting quorum. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you have to bring it back on the agenda in two weeks. Um, but you do you know what the capital? So the, the next item of the agenda is to appoint Chris Waldo as the select board representative to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, which is more or less a partly defunct committee, but it is now hopefully maybe. We're going to try to revive it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's, I, yep. I do know what know what it is. Do you know anything about the history of this committee and the? Anything about it? Uh, probably not. Or you only the conversation, a very small conversation I had with um, Veronique. Uh, um, Bob Armstrong had had done this for a while. Um, you know, just the 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 long and the short of it to me is that um, one of the you know when you go on your July twenty third um, select select board. Uh, thing. Yep, Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they'll, they'll talk. One of the things that they talk about is the importance of a capital plan and how that they'll lay out um, that they lay out how it actually saves money when when implemented and you know that that the resale value of equipment when it's still got a resale value if you just turn whatever it's better than running it makes it saves money over running everything down to where it becomes junk and you have to buy new whatever. Yep. Um, the problem is that this town has repeated when when an actual capital plan was presented to the town meeting, and I recall twice that that was done, the town voted down the capital plan as like an abstract plan. Um, and um, and repeatedly, the capital planning, mo most of these refers to large big ticket items from the highway department, the big craters and the big machines. Um, and there is a there is definitely a difference of opinion in the, in the, the, the there's to me the idea of like a capital plan clashes um, fundamentally with the idea of like Yankee thriftiness and you know the idea that um, you know the, you know what, what is it that people say you, when you find a piece of string you you make a little box for it and it says piece of string and you save it on your in your toolkit thing and whatever and just like the I, this so when inevitably whenever there's a thing that says we want to trade in a, 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 when, when when the highway department tries to do a, a in permission to sort of the uh, at town meeting to trade in something that still functions and get a new one of those things. Somebody will stand up, some guy leaning against the wall with his arms like this and says, and, and say, how many miles are on that machine? What, less than 10,000, you know, or how many hours are, it's not miles, it's how many hours are on that machine? Right. What, less than 10,000, I, I can fix that, I, blah, 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 blah. And now you can't buy that, that's still got good hours left on it. Blah, blah, blah. And, People just the idea of a capital plan is still uh, sort of as an abstract is still something that a lot that that we have not been able that that's a hurdle that we have not been able to overcome at town meeting yet. So um, so I thought I always thought the capital therefore the capital planning committee has always had a tough road to hoe mm -hmm. because there is um, a fundamental like lack of support for the abstract philosophy behind what they're trying to do so good luck um but <laughs> <laughs> this that's actually a big part of my um corporate job so uh, to, to speak to people about the wisdom of plans uh yeah and to to understand when things devalue and how much money you put into maintenance as opposed to the you know to the trade-off of the value of the actual product so perfect Yep. And we, the, 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 and the other thing about this is that there's always people in the audience that know so much more about 
these machines, about the specific machine, that whatever machine we're talking about. Yeah. And there's somebody, there's people in the audience that know everything there is to know about these machines and can take them apart in the dark and, you know, whatever. And, um, and the, so they're the, offering so, their services for free? No, but they're the self-appointed experts that are like, <laughs> no, you have to keep this machine until it, you know, breaks down. Yeah. And, but so I, you know, I, I'm glad that you have this experience for it. And I think, um, I also think that this is one of those things that we've been plugging along on for years and sooner or later, just the sheer weight of numbers and the repetition. It's like any, like anything else, what Winston Churchill, Winston Churchill's great line about um, for any new idea to be accepted, it has to be at least two thirds of an old idea. <laughs> um, and that's, that's, that's the way these things work. So sooner or later, you keep on asking for it. And sooner or later, people will say yes. It's my, it's my philosophy. You just have to have the courage to keep asking. So with all that, I move to approve Chris Waldo as the Capital Improvement Planning Committee rep for the select board. I'll, I'll second that. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Colin, you still there? Yes, I am still here. Good. Um, so with us now is Colin Metti. <coughs> Metti? Metti? Yeah, Metti. Metti. French? French? French origin. Yep. <laughs> uh, you and Veronique. <laughs> uh, uh, vote to appoint Colin as Mohawk Trail Woodland Partnership Representative. So Colin was recruited by Janet Shaves. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Janet. Colin would be filling the enormous shoes of Beth Gersman, who was Mohawk Trail rep from the beginning of that organization. Um, and uh, um, so Colin, you want to do this, right? I you do. Your arm, your arm was not twisted involuntarily. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, um, so, the, you know, the I guess the thing, so you know that this, like, if, you have to be Conway resident, which you are, but you have to stay a Conway resident in order to keep doing this. Don't right. move out of town. Don't I move out of town. <laughs> I understand that, yes. And uh, and uh, what else? What else? I think I said the other thing was that just there, there's a lot that they do that, that has benefited us. The, everything from pretty much every work, every everything that we've done to, for the river, with the river for years, um, the, the carbon credit um, uh, study that, that I wrote the grant for was through the, this organization. Um, the, there's, there's other things too. And so you know, the whole thing is we want all of those programs that we've been benefiting from, we want those to keep, to, to keep existing. Um, and that, you know, I, I know within that organization that that um, when when they decided to expand beyond just forests, just woodlands, that I, I know that that I'm not going to say controversial, but I know that that was a discussion item. And so if that ever rears its head again, we want all this other stuff too. <laughs> it, it benefits the town. We've been able to benefit from it, um, and when. When you try to do anything in this town, you always need funding from somewhere. And, and this Mohawk Trail Woodland Partnership has been really good for the town for that, for the funding, for the expertise that comes with the funding, um, for the volunteers that come with the expertise and the funding as well. Just, it's, I got nothing but good things to say about this group. So with all that, you got any questions? Um, once I get appointed, uh, what are the next steps? Are you going to send my information over to, to them or do I reach out to them? Never ask what the next steps are. That's a good, that's just a good question. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, we would be sending some notification to them that you are the Conway's person. Okay. 
um, and presumably that they, they would then start sending you the emails saying when the next meeting is. I know it's quarterly meetings. Um, my understanding is that they were not doing it by Zoom previously when most others were, but I don't, I'm not sure about that. And they're all over the region where the, the, the towns that are involved or? Um, they've tended to, they, they, they were at, for, I know the one meeting was at the Furcott building in Greenfield. Okay. But um, basically they've always been where, I mean, you know, the, the founder of that, of, of Mo, the, the inspiration and the founder of it is Hank Art. Um, and I, you know, when I, when I was corresponding and dealing with him, he was still the professor at Williams College. Now he's moved on from Williams College. Um, yeah, I, th I think he's still in Williamstown. I think he's a conservation commission on the conservation commission there. He's in Amherst a lot now too, though. So, but uh, I, I know he has a lot to do with the group still, and um, and that's a good thing. So. Uh, the, the thing that, that I know Beth Gershman is a really good resource. I mean, she, she's been with this group from its beginning and she, she has volunteered to mentor you, not I mean, that's, you don't need mentoring, but she would answer any questions and she'd be able to fill in a lot of the blanks. Like one of the things that would probably be useful for you, Colin, is to sort of have an understanding of what the history of the town's usage of the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership resources has been so that you can then advocate for those resources and the expanded, our expanded usage of those resources. But um, so, you know, like, and, and she's a great resource for that. She's super smart too. Yeah, I mean, after I get past the sickness, maybe I can meet up with her and talk about it a little more detail. But other than that, um, I think we did really well. Thank you. It's good to it's good to have knowledgeable forest type persons in a forest woodlands partnership group. I would think, it's king, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same. I had to look you up, Colin, and I, I saw that you had your um, master's in forest ecology. So I mean, you couldn't have a better candidate. Yeah, I actually met you at the planting. That's right. That was yeah. I was I thought that was you. Yes, I was there. <laughs> I gave the tutorial for the right. plant. <laughs> I actually think you two have sort of a passing resemblance to each other. <laughs> he is a very good looking guy. <laughs> um, well, thanks, so Colin, for, for for joining that, and I'm sure. You know, the Mohawk Trail partnership is going to be excited to have you on. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you for volunteering, Don. And uh, yeah, the other thing, you know, there's no stipend for this. This is just strictly a volunteer gig. But, uh, yeah, I know. Sorry. But, but um, figure out a way to write a grant that they'll, that they'll, that they'll uh, fund and maybe you can. Um, Yes, I'll move to a point, Colin Matee, as Mohawk Trail Woods Partnership represents. Second that motion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Unanimous. Colin, congratulations. And thank you. And thank you. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. With that, um, next item on the agenda. I'm going to go make dinner if that's all right with yeah. everybody. Yeah, thanks, that's Colin. very all right. Thanks, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Town administrator update. Um, it's, it's a very short one, just about how much money we got in from the Springfield Murph and FY22, which was just over $4,000, which was really nice to see because we were expecting to spend between 15 and 20. So, wait, say that again? So the Springfield Murph fees went up in the contract a couple of years ago. Right. And we could be paying anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to process our recycling. Instead, last year we made four thousand dollars. 
<clears throat> which means that the market went up enough to shift it from paying. We, we still pay, but when it is above a certain amount, then we get the revenue. So it's the markets were looking good enough that we were getting some good revenue. Unfortunately, I did just hear from Jan today. I was, I'm hoping that this trend will continue, but the revenue is down quite a bit this last month. So fingers crossed. But still, because nobody can afford groceries to generate their recyclables. <laughs> well, we, we did recycle about 220 tons last year. So we do do some recycling, which is nice. And I'm sure we can talk more in depth about all of that when Jane comes to the end of the so. Select board member comments, concerns. Chris, anything? Nope, I'll uh, head down after to sign those papers. I will just say that we just got um, the notice from the opioid settlement, which I was big on filling out the paperwork to us. To, to, uh, and you know there was doubters. There was there was uh, I, there was a little bit of resistance when I was said let's let's fill these things out because because you know oh, we, we we haven't been well we have been directly touched by the opioids but there hasn't been actual like overdoses. Deaths from that in Conway. Uh, but we did receive today an email from the law firm in Richmond, Virginia, that is doing the nationwide opioid settlement that is applicable to us. And uh, in closing, supposedly $2,690 something to the town of Conway for year one of the town's share of the national opioid settlement. So, uh, so that was good, even though that was a sketchy looking email that just used <laughs> weird language and made me think that it was fake. Uh, but if it included a check in the envelope, then it was not fake. So that's what I say about that. Uh, and then there was another email like two. But, uh, So our next meeting, oh, the announcements we have, what's the, the thing in the library this weekend? We're supposed to announce that, I promised them I would. It's the library's 121st anniversary. And Jonathan from uh, FCAT did a documentary film about Marshall Fields and, and they're showing it at the library with refreshments afterwards. I believe that's this Sunday. Is it the 21st, Tom? No, 24th. Uh, all right, it's either Saturday or Sunday. Look it up but, um, if you're watching at home, but go to it because it's, it's a really great documentary. Jonathan did a really nice job. It's only about 20 minutes of a film. It's really, it's really lovely. And um, there'll be people there to answer the question. It's a good thing that that library is amazing. It's a great thing to celebrate. So we, we support that. So that's the announcement. And then the next meeting is two weeks from today, which would be I think it's August 1st. August 1st. Yeah, I think it goes the first or 15th. Monday, August 1st, 2022, at 6 p.m. at the town hall is the next meeting. With that. I'll move to adjourn till that date and time. Is that okay with you, Chris? Yes. Is yes, there second? Second, so that second. motion. And, uh, and all in favor? Uh, Aye. Unanimous, we are adjourned. Very good.